Recognize this bottle? Of course you do. It's one of the most recognizable pieces of packaging in the world. But it's not just a funky shape for a popular drink. This bottle was created for reasons of corporate security, and it was mistakenly designed after a plant that has nothing whatsoever to do with Coca-Cola. They say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But at the Coca-Cola company in the early 1900s, imitation just felt like theft. Soon after Dr. John Stith Pemberton introduced Coke in Atlanta in 1886, imitators tried to cash in on the drink's popularity by producing knockoff beverages in nearly identical straight-sided soda bottles. So, in 1913, a competition was announced for a new Coke bottle to separate Coke from the competition. The bosses at Coca-Cola wanted a design so distinctive that it could be recognized by a person feeling around in the dark. A bottle you could recognize even if you saw it lying broken on the ground. One of the entrants was the Root Bottle Company in Terre Haute, Indiana. They drew their inspiration from this Encyclopedia Britannica line drawing that they thought was a coca plant. Turns out what they were actually looking at was a cocoa bean. The plant used to make chocolate. Designers first carved a model from wood and then created an iron mold. They made several prototypes and their bottle was declared the winner in Atlanta in 1916. They called their bottle the hobble skirt after a popular wide-hipped, slim-ankled garment of the day. The design had a buxom bulge in the middle, which turned out to be a problem because the bottles were too buxom for most bottling machines to handle. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So the shape was slimmed down. The bottle was made from a green-tinted glass known at the time as German green. Eventually, Coke would steal Germany's thunder, and this color would become known as Atlanta Green. The bottle was patented under the name of Alexander Samuelson, one of the designers for the Root Bottling Company. The bottle quickly became a hit. In 1960, the bottle earned the more permanent designation of trademark, a status given only to extremely distinctive designs. Alexander Samuelson kept one of the prototypes for himself. His is the only prototype hobble skirt bottle that survived intact. Samuelson died in 1934, but the bottle remained in his family until 1967, when his son, William, presented the bottle as a gift to the Coca-Cola Company. Coke considers this bottle to be their greatest treasure, next to the secret formula, of course. In 1990, they built a museum to house the bottle and other artifacts in Atlanta, Georgia, and the original hobble skirt bottle is always a premier attraction. The original Coca-Cola bottle is at the Coca-Cola Museum in Atlanta, Georgia.